Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of JNAI Vlog. Today we're going to be talking about how to stand up and deploy an Azure function along with an API endpoint. So we start with local VS Code just like this. You're going to have to install the extension, search Azure, and you'll be able to find the extensions. The one that we're going to use is Azure function. So once you install it, click on this button here, you'll be able to see all these Azure services. We're going to be using function app, which down here in the workspace, I have a lightning button that helped me do that. So if you click on that, you can see create a new project. That's what we're going to use today, create a new project. We're going to say browse, which open a new folder. We're just going to create a new folder here that says main template v4. And that's all I need. So select that. Then select Python, that's the main language. Uh, we select model v2 as the recommended version. For Python interpreter, uh, we're going to do Python 3.11. This allows us to build a virtual environment. And then this is the key point. We're going to absolutely create a HTTP trigger. This helps us stand up the API call. So click on that. And then that's the name. We're just going to leave it like that. That's really it. Click on functions, and you are all set. That is kind of it. Uh, we're talking about maybe five to six buttons of clicks. And you can wait for the system to help you create a local environment as well as a Python code as template. Uh, next, you can do is go to your directory. And then you refresh. You see there is a v4 folder being created. This is the one that we just created. If you're clicking there, you see virtual environment. You see function app, which is here. So all that's being done. You also see the requirements. If you want to design some new fancy packages, uh, certainly you can install any package you want here. So I thought this is more efficient than what's being done on AWS. On AWS, a similar service is called Lambda. So on Lambda function, you can, of course, design whatever you want uh, with a function that looks kind of just like this. Uh, the only difference is, hey, you know, I don't really have this uh, requirements.txt or this environment locally on AWS Lambda. I kind of have to containerize it, otherwise it's so messy to do it. And then on top of that, I have to go to API Gateway to stand up an API. Whereas on Azure, all this is essentially done behind the scene. So come back to the function app, I can make a small change. For example, I can say message. Today's date is September 6. Thank you for using this API. I say safe, and then let's get the message in there. So in the return, let's put the message here. Note, message. And then you are all set. So once you finish editing your function and you want to deploy it, pick this folder v4, right click on it. And then you see this button down here says deploy to function app. Click on that. This is when you can select the existing function or you can create a new one. We're going to create a new one. We're going to enter a name. Of course, it has to be unique. So we're going to say v4. Hit Enter. And then we're going to pick a, a Python version. That's 3.11. And then for location, it depends on quota that you have at each location. I think I have quota left for East US 2. So I'm going to click on that. And then as you can see down here, there's a message popping out. Say, hey, we're creating functions for you. And then we're going to use this location, things like that. And what that means is Azure is trying to create a service using this code that you locally have and trying to deploy it onto the cloud. So it's going to take all these artifacts, deploy that onto the cloud, and then it's going to stand up an API endpoint for this function so you can invoke it using programmatic flavor. So now that's done, we can click on the button down here, go to Azure, refresh it, and then click on the function app. And you'll be able to see this as your main function template v4. So click that, drop down these artifacts, click on the function, and you will see this HTTP trigger. Right click on it, you'll see you can copy function URL. Let's see, I go to a new browser. I say and name equal John. I hit enter. That's really it. Boom, here you go. Say hello, John. This HTTP trigger function executed successfully. And then here's a note, right? And this is the message that I just typed out locally in my VS Code. That's the message. And then on the console, you can say refresh. 
and then you'll be able to see this new function being created for us. Once you're clicking there, you can review all of the services, deployments, things like that. So there you go. As you can see, it's actually a very easy process to create an Azure function, deploy it, and stand up an API endpoint for the function. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.